All right, hey everyone, I made progress on Project Stray. I uh, want to just go over uh, what changes were made. The main change that I made uh, to the core mechanics of the game are all outlined here on my to-do list. These are things that I have yet to do. Um, these are things that I've done as of now. Uh, and that's a Bitcoin thing. But um, I don't know why it's there. That's silly. Anyway, uh, greatly increased movement speed of all projectiles for all weapons. So I went through each and every one of the guns, and I made it so that the projectiles are roughly twice as fast. I greatly reduced reload times across the board. So the reloading time for every gun is about cut in half. Uh, weapon auto reload when out of rounds and mag. Um, so this was requested by Gaming Trail on uh, Steemit, and uh, was a really good f bit of feedback. It was actually recommended by uh, uh, I it was one other person on the YouTube channel or something like that. It was it was mentioned briefly that uh, you know the guns didn't work or something like that, and so this these three changes right now uh, will go a long way in making sure that the guns feel a little bit more visceral um, having very short reloads maybe even too short now but uh... it it minimizes the uh... the effects of when you press mouse one and it doesn't feel like there's anything happening uh... all right so i also did the uh, a lot of the pr preliminary work for how the home base area is going to feel. Now it's a, it's an enclosed area, and there isn't really much. Like if you go out this way, you look, and there's like kind of like trash and dead bodies. But this one, you know, kind of leads further into the dark base, and this this will take you to the dark base. But if you're in, in this section here, like. Um, You'll have the the crafting thingy here. Um, there'll be like various different uh, stations that are set up, and they'll have power. <clears throat> and once you you know once you basically enter this area, the first thing that you'll see is the home point uh, area uh, thingy. Now, when the game has graphics, it, this has this will have to be something that catches the eye. Uh, it has to look like something that. You know, hey, I want to get up. You go, go and stand on that, or or see what it is. You walk onto it. You channel it. Once you channel a home point, it'll add a progress tag, and the progress tag will be used to um, allow you to have access with a special menu, in order to be able to actually um, warp to eat. You know that thing. Pretty much, it will. Uh, anytime you want, you can just warp to a home point but it will reset everything every time you do it um well actually the menu only comes up when you're at a home point whoops i made a mistake yeah you have to be on the home point in order for the menu to pop up so you can't you can't just be like you know wandering around out in the wilderness somewhere and uh, and just have the menu pop up <coughs> so with that said uh, a lot of the the work that I'm going to be doing this week, I'm going to be going to be just focusing on making the different menus. So there's, I need to have an ability to travel on lock home point menu, uh, a crafting vendor, a buy and sell an items vendor. So these are all just going to be different things that can pop up, uh, and a lockbox vendor. So like um, some kind of uh, a UI, a user interface for lockboxes, and ha how to like handle. The, those as as like a game element or something like that, and maybe there maybe there can be some kind of additional thing regarding that, or or I might just push that feature off or something like that. But uh, I kind of want to have these things in game as quickly as possible because they're a core element to the loop, uh, the compulsion loop that I want to kind of keep the player going on. So the and this is also really good too because this kind of compulsion loop it it provides a means to take a break from all of the shooting um, you, you know you come into this space and you have uh, <clears throat> you have time to chill out look at your inventory stuff go go see what the vendors have 
uh, for buying and selling stuff and sell some items off or sell that thing that you didn't really want to uh, keep lugging around anymore and uh, and you know of course go ahead and just craft things I also did some other changes uh, there's a change here that I forgot to list was I made uh, raw crafting materials weightless so that you can carry as many of them as you want um, there won't be a storage box this is going good because they're um, they're sort of an ancillary towards souls in other words uh, the how many credits you have and how many crafting materials you have raw crafting materials are actually like there's there's got to be sort of a risk first reward and uh, also sort of a, a nudge to the player to continue to use them um, in the same way that you know you're not going to run around with a hundred thousand souls you, you're probably going to spend them uh, <clears throat> so there there won't necessarily be a lockbox where you can store those kinds of things in your home base now there are other things that that I I can do I can have a uh, uh, a storage thing for like armor and weapons that you like uh, maybe I will <coughs> um, put that on the list like storage box or weapons and armor but otherwise there's not going to be any storage boxes for anything else uh, and that's only because there will be named items um, that are slightly better or a little bit better or maybe even in some rare cases just straight up superior to the other things but if you want to maintain those weapons rather than just eventually replace them later, uh, you will have to spend uh, points, basically, your uh, your crafting materials and credits to continue to upgrade it so that it stays appropriate to your current level. Uh, otherwise, it will become irrelevant in less than five levels. The, the weapon will basically become useless. Uh, or not even close to what it should be so you you kind of have to decide like <clears throat> am I gonna I got this really cool lightning gun that's super rare uh, called the you know the the devastator or something like that uh, but it's only level 8 and I'm currently doing level 12 content uh, do I wanna like spend item you know money to upgrade it maybe I'll do it later once I have a little bit more storage space or maybe I'll do something like that and, and I don't wanna lug it around all the time so there should probably be a storage box for just stuff like that um, or if you just wanna collect all of the named items right so that makes sense so so basically the the remainder of a lot of the stuff that's gonna be going on uh, is just <laughs> lots of wi UI widgets, uh, quite a few. Um, they're all going to have their own <sighs> interface. They're all going to behave. S oh. It's not the most fun thing for me to do these, but whatever. I mean, it's not it's not like super bad. And once I once I get into the groove of it, it'll be kind of a creative thing. Like I I ha I think the crafting vendor will be the hardest one. But essentially, all will involve once the UI is done is that uh, you walk up to it and you know once you encroach its uh, collision, um, you know you overlap the its collision thingy. The menu will just pop up, and you'll be able to do whatever you need. And then you can just if you're once you're finished, you can just walk away. Uh, so that's pretty much that like this is the infrastructure stuff and this is going to be kind of the the sticky part of getting uh progress on this design but it's absolutely necessary because i want it to be such an integral core aspect to the compulsion loop which is absolutely necessary for making the game uh brain friendly um <laughs> in other words uh <clears throat> adding sort of addicting elements or at least that's how I view it anyway it's kind of weird I'm, I'm like making my own drug um, I'm concocting my own addiction <laughs> all right so with that said uh <laughs>
Yes, and I'm not afraid to admit that. <laughs> Some people are. Uh, so I, I think that's pretty much that for this. I, uh, I'll i keep up some progress on what the different menus are going to look like, but good God, is this is just so much UI stuff that i got to do. Um, uh, buy and sell items will probably just be like, you see your inventory versus that the other, you know, the vendor's inventory kind of like fall out and if you click on something it puts it in a, into a center box thingy and when you and then it shows like how much credits like this person the you know the vendor has or not a person but and then there's the the lockbox vendor I'm not really sure how I want to go about that um but it, it could probably utilize a similar something similar to this. I, I don't know, actually. That's going to be a pretty interesting one. Um, storage box for weapons and armor. Pretty straightforward. That's just going to behave like a... Uh, <clears throat> well, pretty much like the external containers that already exist, in, in a sense, but it'll have to be something unique. Uh, and uh, the proper escape menu. When you actually press escape, you'll have new game, options, and exit game. Uh, pop up so that'll be like project stray and then new game options and exit and options and new game will be grayed out because I won't uh, I don't plan to make those op those things uh, functional until later in development but uh, character creation would be part of new game like so that would actually be its own its own menu as well, and that's when you choose like what class you actually want to play as. Do you want to be a scout? Do you want to be an enforcer? Do you want to be a soldier, or whatever? And that's pretty much that. Uh, it's really just stats differences, and maybe it, <laughs> at some point in time, maybe cosmetic uh, down the road, and maybe like you get the choice of some starting item or piece of armor. Or, or something that is unique to your experience. And that's pretty much it. Uh, Alright, I'm going to go ahead and end this now. Because that was a, a big dump of things. But that's the progress that I'm making. Uh, the guns now automatically reload. Feels a lot better. And done.